Hello and welcome to another update video about Quant QNT. We only want to focus on the short term price action because there are some news. QNT broke below the ascending wedge that we had on the radar for a little while here. Um, it's generally considered a bearish wave pattern. And not, on, not only the pattern did suggest we should break to the downside, it was also the Elliott wave count that I have on the chart, my primary expectation, as outlined in the previous videos, um, explained that I see this move down as a five wave structure in an ideal case that would come down in the lower region of this green support area, um, <clears throat> probably in the lower half somewhere between $180. That is currently my primary expectation. And um, the reason is that the movement to the upside that we've seen since the 14th of November, where we put this local low in place, that movement looked very corrective. Yeah, In my opinion, a clear three wave move in a WXY structure or pattern and um, also the way we moved up and the retracements that we reached and the fact that we hovered and stopped just below this resistance area um, that confirms to me that this was only a wave four and that we are now moving down in a fifth wave this is of course not guaranteed but this is best the best i can give you really based on what i see in the charts we even dropped below the 20 day moving average here the white line we are still below the 50 day moving average that is rather bearish um, so downtrend in play here. These moving averages can be considered trend filters. So we are below both of them. And um, yeah, we've also broken out of this pattern to the downside. That's the first significant event here for a little while. In the last videos, I explained that we would probably go and test this resistance level at $125, which is exactly what we did in this wave two. When we hit the support level here of the ascending trend line, we did expect a, a counter reaction, a corrective move to the upside because we had five waves down complete. And my assumption was this was a wave one, we would get a wave two up and would then move down in wave three. And that is also what is playing out here at the moment. Um, what we now need to do for further confirmation is to drop below the low of the wave one. So below $113 and then to move lower, there will be further support levels along the way. But if we are really in this third wave, it should take us down through these support areas. We have the following, we have $112, which is the entry area of this green support box, the long term trend reversal area, where I overall expect this correction to finish. But as you can see, we still have space, so we can very much come down lower. Um, the only thing is we always need to be prepared for upside from here because we already reached it before. Yeah, so there's no def, there's nothing definite here. It could very well be that we've already got the low yeah, and that this is something bullish but the chart currently just doesn't give enough evidence for that and it is just not very clear. So primary expectation has to be mm, further downside at the moment and the chart seems to be following that at the minute. Um, yeah, this is support and then we've got support at this ascending trend line here around $104 and then when we come down lower, that previous swing low around $94 will provide support as well. But um, yeah, what would you expect? I mean, if we look at the target here for this small wave three, we might be looking at $94, yeah, $94, $95 just for that wave three. Then we should see a wave four and a wave five that might take us down actually to the to that $80 level. We'll see. It would be quite a strong drop. Um, I would change my view if we break above $127. That is the peak of this wave two. Only then I would consider something different. It would not necessarily be bullish. Absolutely not. To be bullish here, Quant would need to be above $140. I am bullish on Quant, but short term bearish. Yeah. So I still expect one more low here. Um, but don't get me wrong, this could still move a bit higher and still not invalidate any bearish pattern. Yeah. It's only above $140 that the, Im the immediate bearish pattern and the prospect of one more low will get very, very unlikely. Okay, and that's, that's my update about Quant. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.